welcome this is the account solution free template on this video i'll be showing you how to use the personal finance template one to enable you record your income and your expenses your income will come from salaries and businesses and your expenses could be all the things you spend money on from day to day you may not have carry a laptop or personal computer everywhere you go but as you incur expenses as you get uh, money from your businesses or your salary you can have a notepad or a diary where you record them at the end of the day you get your computer and key in the transactions into this template which i will show you if you don't have a template you can go to our website theaccountsolutions.com and okay just go through the personal finance template this is the introduction click on the download a free template it gets you straight to the page where you get to number six and get the personal finance template one once you click on it it gets you straight to the excel sheet first of all you see your setup we have the account we have the nature the accounts are the areas you get money from salary and other income and your the expenses are transport health food and the rest of them you can add more below here okay i've added um football this is sports we already have sports here you can add any other thing you want to add you know down on this as as you, long as you want to have it you can add more for nature this is just a, just categories to enable you to track the areas you receive money and you spend money for work work could be salary business could be other income okay family could be food health transport and the rest of them assets okay um would come under you know, investment landed property you can add more you know categories as the case may be this could be nature or category once you're done with the set up you can remove all these ones and put the ones you want to um, include based on go to next now this is the interface page where you can key in transactions select the nature say religious select the account type let's say offerings or donations select the transaction type expense and the type we have cash out now cash in cash out means when you receive money is cash in when you spend money is cash out let's just say cash out and we just put in the figure five thousand now you're supposed to post this to database but this template do not have the enablement for posting if you click on post it brings you here telling you that you cannot post on this template if you need the template that you can post then you can contact us on our um, support page on our website but for now you can go to database and key in the transactions directly so let's say we have first of january 2017 where could be your invoice number teller or whatever reference you want to give that transaction let's say 12 the nature let's say the nature here is um work account we have salary transaction we have cash income type we have cash in amount we have 500 thousand now you've entered into your database you can enter you know, as many as possible from your day-to-day -day transactions let me just get hold of these uh, transactions and just key in, paste them there. Let's look, let's see how the report will generate. So let's assume I've keyed in all these transactions from my day-to-day -day uh, um, expenses and income till February, till April. Now you go to view summary. It brings you to this place. Just right click on the table and refresh. Now you will see this cash in showing you total cash you receive from other income and salary. February, January, March. They may not be organized in sequence of the month, but just wait to look at how much you spent per month. Now, if you go to these slicers, you can view per year, you can select per month. If I click 2017, you will see 2017 action will appear here. I can click on this filter to refresh. If I click on January, you only see January here. Click on this filter to refresh. All right, this is how you view your your transaction summary for cash in go to cash out same thing in cash out you can select by based on year clear filter based on month this april i bought shares in april of one million naira. you can go to this slicer and clear you can select january i spent money on food school fees and transport okay you can clear all right 
Now after here, I'll take you back to um, your dashboard. Dashboard is where you see your charts. The chart is just to show you in picture um, form. Your income is in blue, expense in red, and asset in green. Just to show you the um, level of expenses, income that you've incurred for the period. All right, this is in months, January, February, March, and the rest of them, April. And why this is for the year. Now this is a table to help you generate your cash balance. Let's just select um, January. Now you, you will see your cash in will come in total cash in for January, total cash out for um, January, and your cash balance. If you had um, a cash balance from previous month, just key it in here. Let's uh, assume we have 50,000 at the beginning of the month. And you have 50 plus cash in minus cash out, to get your closing cash balance. Now, if you select year, yeah, that's not 18, nothing for that year. That's not 17, it's total cash in, total cash out for that year. If you have open the balance, let's assume we have 50 at the beginning of the year. It gives you total cash balance at the end of 2017. This is just your dashboard to enable you have a snapshot of how you're doing in your personal finance. All right, um, this is all I have to show you um, based on this template. If you want an advanced template, you can make a request on our free template page. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I hope it will be of help to you in keeping track of your expenses and your income. Thank you and God bless.